Can a wireless network truly function in the harshest environments? We're putting Maxwell's network to the ultimate test, from scorching deserts to icy tundras, to see if it can handle the impossible. Maxwell's wireless network isn't just a technological marvel, it's a game changer. Watch as we push it to its limits in extreme conditions, proving its potential to revolutionize connectivity. Prepare for the ultimate test of wireless technology. We're taking Maxwell's network to the edge, facing down extreme heat, freezing temperatures, and even the chaotic wilderness to see how it performs. Maxwell's wireless network is not just another advancement in connectivity technology. It is the culmination of years of research, real-world trials, and bold vision. This network is designed to deliver seamless, reliable, and fast connectivity, even where traditional networks fail. At the heart of the system is a proprietary blend of RF energy modulation and AI-driven signal adaptation. This allows the network to dynamically respond to environmental changes and user demand. Unlike standard infrastructure-based networks, Maxwell's system operates on a decentralized node architecture. Each node acts as a self-powered relay, making the network inherently resilient. It can survive outages, reroute data autonomously, and scale rapidly in real time. But all this innovation needs to be proven beyond labs and offices. It needs to be tested where failure is not an option. We begin our journey in the unforgiving desert. Temperatures soar past 45 degrees Celsius. The air shimmers with heat, and even the best equipment often falters here. But Maxwell's wireless node is embedded into the sand, right beneath the merciless sun. The device is self-cooled using a smart thermal dissipation system. It channels airflow via its aerodynamic shell and draws power from integrated solar panels. As the sun peaks overhead, field engineers activate the test protocol. Data is streamed from drones, remote sensors, and handhelds. Despite the intense heat, packet loss remains below 0.01%. Bandwidth holds steady at over 200 megabits per second. We attempt to block signal using heat reflective barriers, but the network reroutes seamlessly. This proves that Maxwell's network can adapt on the fly without manual input. Connectivity isn't just sustained, it thrives. The team connects a weather station, a drone, and even a VR headset simultaneously. Latency remains imperceptible, even as five high-res feeds stream in real time. An on-site communication expert Dr. Layla Nasser explains the implications. She states that in disaster zones, such performance can mean the difference between life and death. Maxwell's nodes do not require towers, wiring, or conventional infrastructure. They form a web of intelligent, mobile, and scalable units. Next, we travel north into the frozen embrace of the Arctic. Snow lashes across the landscape, Temperatures dip below minus 35 degrees Celsius. Here, electronics fail regularly. Battery efficiency plummets. But Maxwell's node activates automatically as the drone carrying it lands. It pulls power from internal kinetic coils and wind-harvested turbines. With visibility near zero, our crew deploys multiple sensors around the tundra. They record seismic data, weather fluctuations, and wildlife activity. All data syncs in real time with zero dropout. Researchers in nearby Igloo Labs confirm download speeds of 180 megabits per second and latency under 20 milliseconds. Even as ice forms on the casing, internal temperatures remain regulated. Smart material engineering keeps the electronics insulated and functioning. Satellite uplinks are intermittent here, but Maxwell's network reroutes through peer nodes. Communication with the outside world remains uninterrupted. The crew launches a weather balloon with a node on board. It maintains perfect signal up to 20,000 feet. At this height, traditional networks fail, but Maxwell's thrives. A biologist named Eric uses the connection to stream a polar bear encounter live. The stream is flawless, even as snowstorms interfere with visuals. From the freezing wastelands, we now scale towering cliffs. We enter the realm of jagged mountains and echoing canyons. Line-of-sight issues plague standard networks here. Signals bounce, split, and vanish into rock. But Maxwell's mesh topology flexes with ease. Multiple nodes interconnect like a neural network. Each signal finds a path, 
even if it must bounce across ridgelines. In a high-altitude field test, climbers livestream their ascent. They wear compact transmitters that auto-sync with surrounding nodes. The data flows as if they're in a studio. Environmental sensors provide a full atmospheric breakdown in real time. Wind speed, humidity, barometric pressure, all visualized instantly. One climber experiences a sudden health issue. Her vitals, streamed live to a remote medic, prompt immediate evacuation instructions. The rescue is coordinated through Maxwell's network, bypassing traditional emergency channels. In another part of the mountain, a dense forest blocks even satellite view. Still, signal strength remains at 90%. The nodes leverage multiple signal frequencies to penetrate vegetation. Hikers check maps, send photos, and receive weather alerts instantly. This level of access transforms outdoor safety and exploration. Maxwell's engineers conduct a stress test by introducing signal jammers. The system reconfigures itself using alternate relays within seconds. It learns from the attack and strengthens future resistance. The adaptive AI matrix logs the event and creates a new pattern of redundancy. From desert to glacier, from cliffside to forest, the pattern is undeniable. Maxwell's network is not theoretical, it's operational. It performs where others fail and adapts where others collapse. It opens doors to connectivity in areas once considered unreachable. It supports rescue teams, environmental scientists, and outdoor enthusiasts alike. Its decentralized nature makes it disaster resilient and infrastructure independent. And the nodes themselves, they are sleek, portable, and require no human intervention post-deployment. They draw power from sun, wind, motion, and even thermal gradients. In every terrain, they blend in and work in silence. This is not just about staying online. It's about redefining what it means to be connected. The implications are massive. Disaster zones can be networked in minutes. Medical aid can be coordinated from the other side of the world. Remote schools, isolated communities, and traveling researchers all gain a lifeline. And this is just the beginning. The next generation of nodes will support even faster data rates. They will include quantum-safe encryption. They will be deployable by drone, balloon, or autonomous rover. With Maxwell's technology, the future is already arriving. Connectivity will no longer depend on geography. It will depend on how quickly we deploy this new vision. And that deployment begins now. We've tested the limits. We've seen the results. And the world will never be the same. We've seen what Maxwell's network can do when pushed to the edge. But now it's time to raise the stakes even further. This time, we're taking the network into unpredictable chaos zones. From violent storms to dense urban jungles and deep subterranean tunnels. These are the places where communication dies where rescue efforts falter, and where lives are often lost due to lack of real-time data. If Maxwell's network can thrive here, it won't just be innovative, it will be indispensable. Our first destination in this second phase is a coastal region plagued by seasonal monsoon storms. The wind speeds reach over 120 kilometers per hour. Electrical storms knock out traditional communication lines in minutes. Floodwaters rise rapidly, cutting off access routes and communication towers. Emergency teams deploy a drone swarm carrying multiple Maxwell nodes. As the drones ascend, they begin forming a high-altitude temporary network. Within minutes, the flooded region is covered by a blanket of signal. Rescue boats, medics, and stranded citizens begin relaying messages. Each node stabilizes itself mid-air and adjusts orientation against the wind. An emergency command center coordinates real-time evac routes. Rescue coordinators track water levels, rainfall intensity, and wind data. Video footage streams live despite torrential rain hammering every device. The AI detects weak signal pockets and autonomously increases power to specific nodes. Redundancy protocols kick in without a single command from technicians. A power station goes offline, yet communication does not stop. That's because the nodes independently switch to kinetic generators powered by motion. Each micro-adjustment is logged and transmitted back to the central database. After 36 hours of non-stop rainfall and storm surge, the network remains operational. 
Not one node fails or disconnects. In a region where hundreds could have been cut off, everyone remains reachable. The value of this cannot be overstated. Disaster relief becomes smarter, faster, and more coordinated. Lives are not only saved, entire rescue models are revolutionized. But storms are only one form of chaos. Now we turn to the heart of a crowded, concrete labyrinth, the urban jungle. Dense skyscrapers, overlapping networks, electromagnetic noise, and millions of users. This is where traditional Wi-Fi and 5G slow down, glitch, or collapse entirely. But not Maxwell's mesh network. Our team selects a hyperdense metropolis with over 10 million residents. We place nodes on rooftops, inside elevators, in underground train stations, and behind thick steel walls. Each node begins scanning, learning, adapting to its noisy digital environment. The AI recognizes signal congestion and begins assigning clean channels. Latency in high-use areas averages just 15 milliseconds, even during peak hours. Multiple users stream 4K content, attend VR meetings, and control. Drones all without lag. An emergency test simulates a building collapse and electrical outage. Maxwell nodes switch to battery and kinetic backup instantly. First responders use augmented reality helmets linked through the network. They visualize floor plans, victim vitals, and escape paths in real time. Meanwhile, dispatchers monitor every responder's location live. Crowd movement data from street-level sensors flows uninterrupted to emergency HQ. The city's existing networks struggle. Maxwell's remains rock solid. No drop zones, no blind spots, no overloading. It's not just about coverage, it's about clarity under stress. Now we go even deeper underground, beneath the surface where concrete, rock, and electromagnetic shielding block all signals. We test the network in deep mining tunnels, hundreds of meters below ground. Traditionally, this is a complete dead zone, but Maxwell's subterranean nodes are specially coated for humidity and dust resistance. Miners attach them to carts, helmets, and structural beams. The network begins mapping the entire underground structure. It auto-creates a 3D digital twin, streamed above ground in real time. Communication is seamless, even through solid rock. Gas sensors, oxygen levels, and vibration monitors transmit uninterrupted. An explosion drill simulates a cave-in. Within seconds, emergency responders receive precise minor locations. Rescue decisions are made based on real-time, hyper-localized data. No waiting. No guesswork. Just immediate, informed action. After weeks of testing across environments, one truth becomes clear. Maxwell's network doesn't just adapt. It learns. It improves with every use, every obstacle, every failure. Its AI-based decision tree evolves continuously. It predicts problems before they arise and adapts before they escalate. We push the boundaries again, this time with high-speed mobility. A bullet train traveling at 320 kilometers per hour is equipped with multiple devices. Traditional networks fade in and out as the train moves between towers. But Maxwell's nodes placed along the tracks connect continuously without interruption. The handoff between nodes is smoother than any cellular network to date. Passengers experience uninterrupted video calls, data syncs, and streaming. Engineers simulate a tunnel blackout. Maxwell's network holds strong. Even a simulated cyber attack is handled instantly. The network isolates the affected node and reroutes data through clean channels. No data loss, no breach, just resilience. From the sky to the underground, from stillness to motion, the network performs. And not just perform, it excels. The implications go far beyond convenience. Think of what this means for space exploration, for refugee camps, for border surveillance, for wildlife protection in dense jungles. Every environment is now a connected one. Maxwell's wireless infrastructure doesn't require digging, building, or months of setup. It launches in hours. It scales in minutes. It evolves in seconds. There is no longer a need to ask, can we connect this region? The only question is, how fast can we deploy Maxwell's network here? This changes how we respond to global crises. It changes how we teach in remote areas. 
It changes how we deliver aid, track health, and even govern. Connectivity has become as essential as clean water or electricity. And Maxwell's vision turns that necessity into a guarantee. No more excuses. No more blind spots. No more dead zones. In this new world, communication is not limited by cables, satellites, or towers. It's liberated by intelligence, resilience, and adaptability. And Maxwell's wireless network stands at the center of that liberation. Governments are already taking notice. NGOs are requesting mass deployment across underserved regions. Private companies see this as the infrastructure backbone of Industry 5.0. And most importantly, people on the ground feel the difference. A farmer receives live weather updates for the first time. A student in a remote village joins a live virtual classroom. A hiker in the Andes sends a distress signal and gets a response in seconds. A remote clinic receives real-time consultation from the world's best specialists. These are not dreams. They're deployments already in progress. The revolution is here. And Maxwell's wireless network is leading the charge. We've pushed it to every limit we could find. And we discovered that maybe there are no limits at all. Only possibilities. Only transformation. Only connection. And it's all just beginning. Maxwell's network is not a glimpse of the future. It is the future deployed today. From deserts to tundras, mountains to cities, storms to subways. Performs. It endures. Connects. And with it, we are never disconnected again. Not from each other. Not from opportunity. Not from hope. This is Maxwell's legacy in motion. A wireless world. Without limits. Without borders. Without fear. Just pure, uninterrupted connection no matter where you are. Welcome to the age of everywhere connectivity. And it starts with Maxwell.